we're at our rehearsal space right now, and today we're going to take a trip down memory lane in San Antonio. We call this romancing because we don't have automatic lock. So, we'll say romance us, and that means open the door. <laughs> we'll say something like romance us. <laughs> okay. So, you're just sit in the back. This is my chair, my bench. I'm, it's, my, I, it's my room on tour. This is usually the tour managers. And Fani's usually in the driver's seat all the time. And then Jen's co pilot. Sometimes Jen will drive, Fani's co pilot. That's it. March 13th was our first show because it was the day before my birthday. We were real nervous and I remember there's pictures where I'm cross-eyed looking at the microphone because I didn't mm -hmm. want to I didn't want to look up. And a lot of our friends had came and um, they had came up to us afterwards and were like, we were just coming, we thought you guys were gonna suck, so we were just gonna say, Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah. But you know, they were like, You're really good and everyone was really impressed with Nina's voice. And I hear my voice back now and I sound like a chipmunk. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. Y'all are fucking awesome. Hogwild's been, we've supported Hogwild and we thank them in Trio BC and we thank them in the new record because we're big supporters of keeping the, the record stores open. And that's how Jen and I discovered music and a lot of our influences is coming out here. We would take the bus, get dropped off here, come in here and go through the records and discover new bands just by looking at the cover and then taking it home and trying it out. And or like ordering, like we would, we would big order. Kill Rockstars fans, so we would order, you know, imports, whatever. It was always like a, a big competition between her and I and mm -hmm. albums, like, oh, I got the new Nirvana import, you know, you know, UK edition, whatever, like, yeah. we would just order from here. Posters, I'd order, man, I'd order huge Morrissey posters from here. Um, T-shirts. it was like, exciting when they called and they said, you know, your poster's here, your record was here, so, yeah, it was awesome. This is a big... We're probably going to do another signage here. Yeah, I think when our new record comes out, signage. we usually <laughs> signage. We usually come and, and, you know, we'll have we'll have a listening party here and, and we'll sign CDs and stuff. But this is our favorite record store ever and always support it. And I actually have a whole board of flyers when we had first started. I, we kind of collaged them together on a, on a board. And this is before MySpace. Yeah, so we could be like, uh, like you know, like finding bands to like play with. And yeah, stuff. and then new bands and where they're playing, and you know, it's cool. Like, we, Jen and I still come here and, and look at the flyers and see what's going on, and like even Pop, here's Pop Pistols fly, like they're still putting up their stuff. You know, it's good. It's good to still do this. I think a lot of bands forget we need a flyer. There's just so many. It's just so much more to do. Like we still have a lot of work to do. Like for people around the United States, overseas, just to show that. We're just a strong band. We're, we're, we're good musicians and, and we're just talented people to, to play for. Like, you know, we're not just people, whenever they see an all girl band, they're like, ah, oh, nah, I don't want to see them. You know, they're going to sound like they have a sound in mind already, but just people, some people don't realize that we're out to try to do our own thing, our own sound, and it's not going to hopefully not be anything disappointing. This is where we took, Jen and I took our first band photo as a band on those steps with a different. Uh, I was in journalism class and I was making up lies to make the article bigger. I was like, we have over 20 songs, we're going to play a uh, New Year's Eve party, we we're going to do the talent show. And I had barely asked this guy to play bass, this one dude, Greg. And then our friend was walking around, we're like, hey, you want to be in the picture? So then it was just like random people and we're like, oh, that's our band. And we Jen has that picture too, to this day. And we, we sat here and we took the picture. I had a perm. <laughs> so we ended up working with Mike McCarthy, who only records in analog. He's done Spoons Records and uh, Trail of the Dead and Partners Masters. And um, it was interesting. We, we played together in the same room for the first time. Normally it would be me recording first, then Jen, then Nina does her overdubs, guitars, vocals. This time we all played together as a band, and then Nina did her vocals last. So it was it was a different process for us, but it felt more natural. We're we're, we're right now we're October. The album comes out in November. So this is the critical like oh what are they gonna think? What are they gonna say? Are they gonna like it? Uh, are they gonna compare it to old albums? Um, just a lot of lot of thoughts going on right now. Like we're but we we are very happy with it, and we were going through a lot. You know, writing during the writing process, during the recording process as individuals, as a group. So this was something that like, 
it's like it's like stronger or something, you know? Like, you know, I was, I was saying that you know I had lost my mom, like in March, so it was like, yeah, so it was it was hard because it was like the rosary funeral the next day recording in Austin. Like, we did rhythm section three days, you know, and yeah. then you know Nina was also producing and. And, and like I said, all of us were kind of going through our own thing. So it's like big changes in our life and then doing this album and that comes into play with it. And I think that's another reason why it's so strong too. San Antonio, everyone's pretty much real hard workers, real blue collar people, you know, like anything, just hard working. We're very family oriented, you know, it's just like, everybody's just together. We're pushing together. No one's like gonna be left behind kind of, kind of mentality. So we, we just take that with us wherever we go, whatever we do, and every, everyone's support is what keeps us going and keeps us doing it. Just, you know, we didn't plan to be born here in San Antonio. We didn't plan to meet each other. We didn't plan, none of this was planned. It's just everything just happened. Yeah, my mom, I don't know where they got this, but any, vi any okay, anytime there's a visitor, she's like, sign the trunk. She just wants everybody to sign it, so we have Carly from here and Nina. We all sign. Any anybody come by? There's some fan art of Nina. Um, Robert Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez did, that, did that picture over there. When we played in the auditorium of Jeff from Rat, that was the poster promoting it. <laughs> and uh, these are just like old fires. That's a show we did in Chicago. And that's my mom Bonnie. with Joan Jett. Here's Bonnie and my brother. <laughs> These um, baños were in the Their Cell video at the end of the video. It's me and I was a baby. You know, she was a baby. Look at my cheeks. There's Marilyn, a portrait of Marilyn, our dog that was in a static mind. This dog I pretended to throw into the air. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is where we were writing. Yeah, this is where we were writing. Yeah, this is where we were writing. My piano. Put our heads together. I'm still learning to play it better, but it works. <laughs> This is my newest guitar. Twelve no. string. Really excited about it. Pretty. So uh, thanks for following us. Thanks to SA Current. Thanks to Thomas Jefferson. Thanks to Hogwild Records. Catch us soon. We have a uh, the new album's coming out November first. But of course we have a CD release show at the Pearl Brewery with Pinata Protest, and that is October 29th. It's a free show. It's free. It's all ages and. We play early. We play at 9 o'clock, so Piñata Protest is going on around 8. Then afterwards, we'll be having our after party for the CD release at Martini Ranch. So if you're over 21, you can follow us there. Hope to see you there!